Well, the outrage is universal tonight after someone took their vehicle and drove through a new veterans park in the town of Plattsburgh. As NBC 5's Benny Nazai explains, it's being investigated as vandalism and authorities need your help tonight. Recent vandalism taking place at the Battlefield Memorial Gateway has left the town of Plattsburgh community disturbed. It's very shameful. It's very unfortunate. Plattsburgh Town Supervisor Michael Cashman frustrated by this scene. He says a reckless driver ripped up the property at the brand new Battlefield Memorial Gateway. And while he's upset it happened, Cashman is also thankful for the community members who discovered it. This really was a dishonor to our veterans. Uh, it's really infuriating, uh, but we're very thankful to citizens for, for alerting us. As we always tell people, if you see something, say something. Officials with the town of Plattsburgh say the driver drove right through the park, leaving marks across several areas. Phase one of the multi-million dollar gateway project was just completed in the fall after years of planning, and there are still several phases to go to finish the project by 2026. And several community nonprofits that work closely with local veterans are also outraged. People work so hard for so many years to get this to fruition and phase one is just complete now. And then you have people that do this. It's a malicious thing. A lot of them are frustrated, you know, especially the guys from Vietnam. The frustration levels are, are high to begin with, with that whole situation. Cashman says the damage will cause a small delay in the construction, but the project will move forward. Nothing will deter us from building a premier space that honors our veterans and helps tell the American stories. Uh, so this is a blip. Uh, it's, it's a stain, but we're going to clean it up and we're going to move forward. And folks are confident that this will bring the community together. If anything, what this has done is brought them together to make sure that this does happen and that, that stuff like this doesn't happen again. Let's hope this is the last time and, uh, you know, maybe this will get out where, where we won't have a reoccurrence of this ever again. Cashman says the town is currently working with local law enforcement, but anyone with information on the incident is strongly encouraged to call the town of Plattsburgh offices. In Plattsburgh, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.